I apologize for that. But, so, this is a continuation of the Seven Daily Sins videos. And I was too at number seven, which is pride. An excessive view of yourself without regard for others. Proverbs 16 and 18 says, Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Okay. The cure for pride is humility because it removes ego and arrogance and boastfulness, allowing the correct attitude of service. Check yourself for you wreck yourself. Check yourself or you wreck yourself. Do you have ego? It got to go. Ego has got to go. Okay? Arrogance, you got to get rid of it. Boastfulness, it's got to go. Pray. Get it out. Get it out. It's time to clean house. That is one of the most unattractive spirits to me. And, and I'm sure I'm not alone. But somebody who's always boasting or bragging. That is so unattractive. Because spiritually when somebody's doing that, all I see is them pointing to, to themselves saying, me, 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 me. Like a, a, a brat, a whiny brat. Me, 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 me. I, 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 I. No. No. It's not all about you. It's not all about the narc. It's not all about them. Galatians 63 says, For if a man thinks himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives his own self. And four says, but let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. The, the narcissist boss. Okay. Will let you do all the work. And then take the credit for your work. They don't, they don't want to prove their own work. See, narcissists, I told you again, narcissists are antichrist. They go against the word of God. They go against the very word of God. They don't want to prove their own work. They want your work. They want to take the credit for what you do. Let you do all the work. While they what? Operate out of the one of the other deadly sins. The slothfulness, the lazy spirit, they only will do the bare minimal of what it takes. But their eyes are open. Even though they might look like they sleep, the spiritual eyes, they spiritual eyes stay open because they don't want you to outdo them. They don't want you to do better than them. They don't want you to get no credit. Oh, no, sir. No, ma'am. Not, uh -uh, not without them. They got to have a hand in it some way. If there's any pets on the back being given out, trust and believe. They want them. All of them if they can get them. Verse 5, Galatians 6 and 3. For every man shall bear his own burden. That's the way the most high intend for it. You ain't supposed to have to carry all the load. You're not supposed to have to carry the narcissist's weight because they too lazy to get a job. When I met this narcissist, when I met that narcissist, because I got rid of that narcissist, I, I praise y'all. But after a while, when they got comfortable, the narcissist quit his job and then lied to me and told me that he promised, oh, 90 days, I have another job in 90 days or less. You know, you're not going to have to carry all the weight, queen. Blah, blah, this and that. 
lie, lie, lie. Knowing full well that he intentionally had no mind whatsoever to look for another job. What the narcissist was looking for when he met me was somebody to take care of him. That's what the narcissist was looking for. So if you are dealing with somebody like this, somebody who wants you to carry all the weight, who wants you to carry their burden and yours, my, yeah, you are dealing with a narcissist. You are dealing with somebody who's toxic. You are dealing with somebody who is anti-Christ, who is anti-Bible, who is anti-against the word of the Messiah. Because it is written, Galatians 6 and 5, for every man shall bear his own burden. It is not meant, and it's not the will of the Most High Yah, for you to be carrying your way and theirs. Where is it written? Show me in this word where it say that you carrying somebody else's burden and weight is love. I tell you what it say. It says, cast your burdens on me, for I care for you. They're supposed to take it to God. Take it to him. Take it to the throne. And he carry our burdens. But the narcissist can't do that because they don't believe in him. If they did, they would know that they have to answer. That's why they choose not to believe in the most high. Because then they know I got an answer for all this wrong I did. I got an answer for the way I've been mistreating this person. I got an answer for all this evil I did. I got an answer for all the killing, the stealing, and the destroying that I've been doing. If they believe, then they will know that his word, which don't fail, is going to come to pass when he says, be, oh, be not fool. Y'all is not marked. What a man sow, that shall he also reap. They'll know that it's coming back to him. Oh, do his word to say that. Him that killed by the sword, gonna die by the sword. Him that go into slavery, gonna be a slave. It's all through the word. From the old to the new. You gonna reap what you sow. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. It's all through the word. He don't lie. He can't. It's written. That's why the narcissist chooses not to believe. That's why the narcissist will mock you for believing. They don't want to have the answer to your faith. They don't want to have the answer to your God. The one and only true living God, Yah, Yahuwah. They don't want it to have to answer to the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. My yah. Because of their pride and sense of entitlement, they think they are smarter and better. But they are actually extremely insecure. And threatened by your potential and your greatness. That's what it all boils down to. That's why the narcissist is trying to tear you up, beat you down, keep their foot on you, talking down on you, saying all those horrible things to you because they see the greatness and potential in you. They don't want you to wake up and see it. Because if you did, you would kick them to the curb. You would know that you deserve better. You would know that this is not the plan that the Most High have for you. You would wake up and realize, the Most High didn't send this, I picked this. 
and you will realize that you have the right to change your mind. You have the right to change your mind. No, I don't want to be in this relationship no more. No, I don't want this no more. No, I am better than this. No, I will not settle. No, I will not settle for less. Because I am greatness. I am greater. I have potential. I am a child of the king. I am blessed. I am favored. I am worthy. I am complete in Abba Yah. I am me. And me is fearfully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Without you, I was physically fearfully and wonderfully made in his image now you got to know now who, whose image are you whose image are you made in in the image of the most high or are you going to let this toxic not not tell you who you are and be made in that warped image of who they want to speak word curses of you onto you. Don't believe the lies. Don't let them speak lies over you. Don't let them speak those twisted word curses over you. Speak against who you are, who you were created to be. No. Burn that mouth of that devil. Pray for yourself. If you are a woman that's dealing with one, sis, you got to deal with that spirit of lust. You got to deal with that spirit of loneliness where you thinking, uh, you got to have a man. You can't be alone. So you don't let this man come into your house. Because that's what the word say. Okay? The word don't lie. You can sit there and say, I ain't got no loves, I ain't it. Come on now. The words say that's how they get in. Silly women laying with lust. You wanted something bad. Whether it be a man, whether it's a company, whether it's sex, something from that man, you want it bad enough to let him up in there. That right there going against the word of the most high. I just want you to be encouraged because there is a way out. There is ways out, okay? Now that you have some insight to who you are dealing with, you know, look around you because it's different kinds of offices. They, they, they operate in different environments. Joseph was born into a family of narcs. Narcissists come from the serpent seed, Leviathan, the python seed, snakes. So Joseph was born into a den of snakes. That's why his brothers was against him. They were snakes. Think about that. See, when you stop walking around here looking at people Looking at them flesh bags, the the flesh sacks that they that everybody's wrapped in, and open your spiritual eyes and start looking at people through the flesh, past the flesh. Start trying to see what's under that flesh. You'll come out a lot better because it's some serpents hiding on behind them flesh suits. We wrestle not against uh, flesh and blood. Ain't God, that's why they wrap themselves in it. We ain't wrestling with flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. 
evil. Think about that movie, Men in Black. Remember the man had the, the, the flesh suit on, he looked like a man? But when it burst open, it was a monster under there? Same in the spiritual. You got to start thinking like that. And all through that movie, all, they put the truth right in our faces sometimes. But all through that movie, nothing was as it appeared. The same here, the same now, in this world. You got to look for the light. Stop looking at that flesh. Stop looking for, oh, he fine. Oh, that's my type. Your type of what? Flesh suit? Because that's all it is. Because under there is a serpent seed. Under there is a serpent. A snake. An anaconda. A big snake. A bow constrictor. Choke the life out you. A python. A swallow you whole. Come on now. What kind of snake you dealing with? An albino snake. The ones you can't see. The one who camouflage themselves. Thinking you can't see that they really a snake. Come on. Get past the flesh suits. Everything look good ain't good. And what you see ain't always what it appears. Speaking from experience. So, I just want you to be encouraged. There is hope. There is hope. Heavenly Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray for the persons listening right now. I thank you. We give you thanks and praise for your word. We give you thanks and praise for the blessings. We give you thanks and praise for the lessons that you bring into our lives. Because they birth purpose. Because they teach us. We thank you that we don't operate out of the seven deadly sins. And that we have the ability to listen when you speak. We thank you that we are not antichrist against you, but that we love you, that you've given us a spirit of humility to love you and to desire you because the word is written. We didn't choose you. You chose us. And thank you for choosing us. Hallelujah. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for stretching out your hand and pulling us out. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that if they are dealing with the narcissist or a toxic person, the serpent seed, that you will protect them right now. Protect them from the stealing, from the killing, and from the destroying. No more. Isaiah say, this is a people. This is a people pillaged. This is a people put in prison, ravaged, and no one would say restore. But today I say restore. I speak it. I speak restore on your life. I speak restore on your mind. I speak restore to you, man. I speak restore to your woman. Restoration will come by the hand of the Most High in your life. Because you are worthy of it. 
Forget the lies that they said. You are worthy. And the Most High loves you with a great love. It is not his will for you to be somebody's doormat. It is not his will for you to be stomped on and mistreated. That is not love. Love is kind. Love is patient. Love is not proud. Love is not post up. Love does not boast in itself. All the things that the narcissist does, which are the seven deadly sins. Love is the opposite of the seven deadly sins. It's written right there. Love don't think of itself. Love is charity. Love is kind. Please, please. Call from CC. Please. Help us not to lie to ourselves no more. And look and dodge from the truth. And we thank you for this knowledge on today. We thank you for this knowledge on today. And give us a hunger. A hunger for more. To free ourselves and be delivered. And be whole. And be ourselves again. So that we too can help somebody else come out from the spell of Leviathan. We repent for coming under the spell of Leviathan. And we give ourselves back to you. Our minds back to you. Break the spell that Leviathan has cast over the minds of your people. Break the soul ties. Break the trauma bonds. I speak destruction to you. Burning the fire to the pits of Sheol with you. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. No more. The blood come against every trauma bond under the sound of my voice. The blood comes against every trauma bond under the sound of my voice. The blood of Yeshua Mashiach burns every soul tie under the sound of my voice. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, it is so. To the fire soul ties and burn in the pits of Sheol. Right now, I command you. For whatever I loose on this earth shall be loosed in heaven. And whatever I bind on this earth shall be bound in heaven. No more. Restoration comes. I speak it. Restore. Restore your people, Most High. Restore your people. Let healing come. Let the healing waters flow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the healing waters flow. There's bomb in Gilead. There's bomb in Gilead today. Hallelujah. Gilead, the land, the land before the promised land, there's bomb there, it is bomb here, it is the will of the most high that you be healed and set free, hallelujah, for he loves you with a great love, hallelujah, thank you, thank you father, thank you, thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your deliverance. Hallelujah. Thank you for breaking strongholds. Strongholds be broken. Strongholds fall to the ground and die. Never to be put together again. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. In the name of Jesus. You're broken. And can't be put back together again. These and other blessings. I pray. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Thank you. Thank you. Be blessed. Till we meet again. <laughs>